When assessing your knowledge on slope fields, oftentimes they'll ask you to match a differential equation with a slope field or to match a particular solution to a differential equation with a slope field. For our first example, which of the differential equations below matches the slope field shown at the right? The first thing that I notice is that all the slopes for this graph are positive. So A is not an option, B is not an option, and C is not an option because they will give you sometimes negative values. So should it be one plus y squared or one plus x squared? You can pick a value such as one zero where it looks like the slope is one. If x is one and y is zero, option D would give me a slope of one, option E would give me a slope of two. So option D best matches the slope field. For our next example, we're going to match a specific solution. Maybe you can see which one matches the slope field already, but I'm gonna graph each so you can see what we're looking for looks like. E to the x is a positive exponential graph with y-intercept of one. E to the negative x is reflected about the y-axis. Wow, it looks like B might be our answer. Negative e to the x is the reflection of e to the x over the x-axis. ln x is the inverse function for e to the x, so we want to reflect the light blue graph over the line y equals x to get ln x. That would make negative ln x a reflection over the x-axis. B and D are the closest options, but B is the only correct option. D has a vertical asymptote here, but the slope lines are crossing the y-axis, so D cannot be the answer. Now let's talk about Euler's method. What is the purpose of Euler's method? Euler's method is a numerical method that you can use to approximate the solution to an initial value problem with a differential equation that can't be solved using a more traditional method like separation of variables or other methods not covered in Calculus BC. Even though Euler's method is used to find a value or a graph for unsolvable differential equations, this video will practice using it on simple differential equations that may be traditionally solvable. So you may feel like, why are we doing this if we could actually find the real value? Well, this process is for problems where you can't find the real value, where you have to use this as an approximation tool. So we'll practice using it as an approximation tool for simpler equations. Consider the differential equation dy over dx equals y. With the initial condition, y of 0 is 1. Estimate the value of y of 0.3. This differential equation is solvable. So, spoiler alert, y is equal to e to the x. That graph looks like this, meaning we actually know the real value of y of 0.3. That would be 1.349.85, blah, blah, blah. If this were unsolvable, we would not be able to find the exact value of y of 0.3. In AP Calculus AB, we used local linearization to estimate y values. What would happen if we did that here? Let's go ahead and zoom in. Using local linearization, we would find the equation of the tangent line at the initial condition 0, 1. The slope at 0, 1 is 1, the y value, so the equation is y minus 1 equals 1x. And that orange tangent line is approximating the y value at 0.3 to be 1.3. That's not a bad estimate at all, but keep in mind, 0.3 is very close to 0, so using the line that goes through 0 is not actually a bad estimate. But what if we wanted something more precise, or we were estimating a value much further away from 0, 1? Using Euler's method, we could get an even more accurate estimate. Euler's method uses each step from before to build off of. The change in x for each step should be constant. For this example, we'll use 0, 1, and start at our initial value of 0, 1, which we already found the slope for. The x value for each step is based on delta x, so those are fixed values. To find the change in y for the next step, multiply the slope, or your dy over dx value, by the constant change in x, delta x. So if the change in y is 0.1, we will add that to our previous y. Our previous y was 1, so 1 plus 0.1 is 1.1. 1 
Now repeat the process. The slope is y, so 1.1. If we used local linearization with the red line to estimate y of 0.3, we'd have an even more accurate estimate than our previous estimate with the 0.01. Add this change in y to the previous y, and repeat the process one more time. This blue line is an even more accurate estimate of what y of 0.3 could be. Add delta y to the previous y. Our final estimation is 1.211 plus 0.121, which is 1.331, taking place very close to the actual value. And that's how we use Euler's method to estimate a value. We already know the solution to this is e to the x, but just in case you want to see that process again, here it is. Remember that Euler's method would be used on unsolvable equations, but here we are solving it so that we can check how close our estimate was to the real value. Use a calculator to plug in the other values. e to the point 0.1 is 1.10517, e to the point 0.2 is 1.2214, and e to the point 0.3 is 1.3484. As you can see, the further away we got from our initial point, the less accurate our y values were, but even still, Euler's method is more precise than simply using local linearization or just estimating through a slope field what the graph would look like. Use Euler's method to approximate the particular solution of the differential equation y prime equals x minus y passing through the point 0 0.5. Delta x will be 0.2 and we're going to do three steps. Sometimes they call that n equals 3. Starting at 0, 0.5, and I already know all my other x values, they will differ by a change in x of 0.2. The slope is dependent on the x value minus the y value. Take that slope and multiply it by delta x. So negative 0.1 is our delta y. We're going to add that to our previous y. 0.5 plus negative 0.1. And repeat the process. x minus y is our slope. Add negative 0.04 to 0.4, the previous y value. And repeat the process. When we add 0 0.008 to the previous y, we get 0.368 as our approximation for the y value at 0.6. Euler's method makes a more precise graph, so let's go ahead and graph these x, y values. Here is an approximation of our particular solution graph using Euler's method where delta x is 0.2 starting at the point 0, 0.5. Here we have a slope field already drawn for the previous differential equation. So now graph the particular solution that passes through the point 0, 0.5 and see if it looks like the graph we have above. Does it look like the graph above? Yes. Does it look as precise as the graph above? No, because there are various interpretations of what the particular solution through this slope field could look like. But there's only one way to do Euler's method with this particular delta x value or with this number of steps.